Okay, so for my propeller, I've uh, just made a really, really crude design uh, for my demonstration. It looks like this. Took my index card uh, and I folded, so I've got some edges that are gonna catch the wind. Uh, very, very crude design. Um, again, this is another place where you guys get to experiment with and play with and see what is gonna work the best for your specific car. You're gonna attach this exactly like you attach to your wheels. So I've got my paper clip that is gonna go into my motor mount. We've already talked about how this works. Okay, um, my rubber band's gonna hook there. I've folded to a 90 degree angle. Um, and so I'm gonna stick my, uh, my propeller through and then just tape. So I'm gonna get a piece of tape here um, to tape that on. Um, and, oops, missed the, got the tape down, but I missed the propeller shaft there, so I'll try this again. Um, so I've got, now I've got my propeller, uh, taped on to, uh, taped on to my, uh, propeller shaft, and it's going to be able to spin there for me, um, and... I took my wheels off just for the de this demonstration because my wheels were having a really hard time st uh, staying on there. Um, and these are the two parts that are going to connect. Remember we have that paper clip in the front um, that's hooked to the hook and I took that off. So I just slide that in there. I now have my paper clip in the back and again this matters for the uh, strength of your vehicles. Uh, the bot that original body that we did when we attached that um, if it's not strong enough it's going to collapse that um, and then I get to uh, start experimenting and spinning my uh, my rubber band um, and when I when I have spun that if my propeller is straight if everything's set to go oops and it looks like my propeller shaft came off a little bit if everything is set to go and so I can see right now, mine is, my rubber band is way too tight for my propeller shaft. All it's wanting to do right now is pull that forward. So that tells me I might need to adjust where my motor mount was placed so that when I start making my spins, um, that I am going to be able to uh, adjust, that I'm going to be able to now spin that. And then when I release, um, that is going to... Uh, that is going to propel my vehicle forward. Now, as I'm looking at mine, I have a, a few errors uh, in my design. And so this is where you're gonna experiment. One of those errors is that this paper clip is hitting the motor mount. It's now keeping my motor from spinning on its own. Um, the other thing is as I was winding this up, I was noticing that my propeller was actually hitting the body of my car a little bit. So that tells me that I might need to adjust the size of this motor mount um, as I am uh, creating those pieces, okay? So lots of different places to create and play with and uh, experiment with the design to figure out what is gonna work and what um, you can do to make your vehicle travel the farther, the, excuse me, the farthest.